the four-time NBA champ, NBA on TNT Analyst. You can tune in to the big podcast with Shaq on PodcastOne.com. Russell Simmons joins Shaq this week. DeAndre Jordan from the Clippers next week, plus tons of laughs and Shaq-related nonsense. And Shaq joins us now. Good morning, Shaq. How are you? I shoot the hell up, man. <laughs> how have you up, been? Brother? Yeah? I'm all right. I can't complain. How are you doing? Good. We were wondering how you would be as a GPS voice. Uh, Morgan, Morgan Freeman is going to be a GPS voice. I was wondering how you would be giving directions. I would have to be an uh, Ebonic GPS voice. Give me, give me a little bit. Uh, turn left right here. Damn it, I said turn left. <laughs> really ghetto. I, you know, I, I wonder if they have a ghetto navigation system. Uh, one, you, you would be the one, first. One that's real vulgar and calling you stupid and calling you idiot. I like it. No, idiot, turn left here, stupid. But doesn't it feel You're like the... Like, Surrey sounds like that. Some, like they doesn't it feel like GPS scolds you sometimes when you when you miss a turn? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So I might as well pay you to do it. Recalculating now. <laughs> What's the uh, first car you own? Uh, Ford Ford Bronco Two at LSU. I bought it for four thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. How long? Real beat up. How long did it last? Uh, I kept it until I got drafted. What was your first car when you got drafted? Uh, Mercedes Benz <laughs> S600. Nice. You don't still have that, do you? Oh no, of course not. Yeah, you had to upgrade. Yeah. Did you uh, Did you get Kobe a retirement gift? Uh, not yet, but I'll uh, I'll figure something out by the time the last game comes around. What are you thinking, though? What am I thinking? Yeah. Let's see. I don't know, maybe a car or something, motorcycle. Hmm. I saw where Jordan got him an entire library of uh, Air Jordans. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really nice. Well, I wish I could have got something like that from Mike. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. What? I was 22, Mike. Did, did Mike get you anything when you retired? Nah. Who gave you the best? I, you, know, you know, I was actually, I was actually, because if you recall, I had a two-year deal with Boston, and I, my career ended the first year. But after that first year, I was, I was going to set up a farewell shack tour and all that stuff too. But I never got around to it. I would have, I would, I would have uh, actually liked to have a farewell shack tour. I'm sure it would have been a lot of fun. Are you being serious? Are you bothered, disappointed that you didn't do it? Yeah. I am. I am. If if you were a free agent in your prime, let let's say this is your prime, what team would you go to? You you got a max contract, so money is not the issue. State of the NBA right now, where would you go? I'd probably go to the. I w- I would I would want some of that Golden State Warriors, but not a lot. So I would definitely have to stay to the East. I probably have I, you know I would. I would go back with LeBron because you know even though we played together, it was it was kind of kind of too late. You know that was that was kind of the beginning of the old Shaq. So I would go to LeBron and we'd have a rematch, and we'd definitely beat Golden State up. If you played your career with LeBron in your prime, finish that sentence. If I played my career with LeBron, it would have been. Similar to D Wade or similar to Kobe, we definitely would have got one. Maybe could have got three. Oh gosh, you in your prime, you guys would have been unstoppable. Yeah, that's why I said you know we definitely would have got one and possibly could have got three. What What's the difference though in personality when when you're like Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, D Wade? Is there is there a personality trait that they all have, and is there a personality trait that they don't share in common? Well, they they all have that uh, a super will to win, and they all have that that you know where they could just get into that get into that zone and just and you know just go crazy. I don't uh, I don't really know uh, Mike like that. I only got to spend about a year and a half with LeBron, D Wade, and Kobe. You know when when you need them to turn. Well, actually, all of them. 
when he needs them to turn it on, they can turn it on. And but you know, o overall, very nice guys, very respectful guys. Never had a problem with any of those guys. Shaquille O'Neal, the big podcast with Shaq. Podcast One dot com is where you'll find it. Uh, we were looking at Anthony Davis when he put up 59 and 20, and then we saw the other games. Chris Weber had a similar game. You had one where I think he went for 61, 23. Do you remember that game? Yeah, that was the birthday game. That was the uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar would not look at me game. So I had to try to earn his respect. <laughs> Explain that. He was the, uh, I, I, I guess he was assistant coach for the Clippers. Yeah. And every time I touched the ball, he put his head down. So I took it as a sign of disrespect. I was like, oh, okay, you know, you're not going to look at me? So I just wanted to, you know, show him that, yes, I was in the building, and yes, I was great. Wow. True story, Dad. Did you ever talk to Kareem about that? Never. I've, uh, what, I played for the Lakers how many years? Eight, 12? A lot. Yeah, I, I probably I probably only talked to Kareem a total of three minutes. Out of all those years? Yes. Did you want to talk to him? Uh, yes and no. Yes and no. But you, you know what? The guy that the guy that was Kareem and Wilt Chamberlain's voice for me was a guy by the name of Bill Berger. The uh, you know, cause, former coach? Yeah, former coach. Because, you know, a lot of times when when you're out there by yourself and, and you're trying to get to that next level, it doesn't take practice to get you to the next level. It takes conversation. It takes guidance sometimes. So, like, you know, I was putting up big numbers, big numbers, big numbers, and then Bill Perker would say, Shaq, you know, uh, once, uh, you know, Kareem had a similar situation where he go middle all the time and they take away the middle. He just drops that five or six times in the game and open back up. So, you know, Bill Berger had a million stories about what Kareem and Will went through. And that right there took me to the next level. And uh, Bill Berger, if you're listening, brother, thank you again. The one thing, there's one thing that stands out with your podcast I, I love because it's there's so many different stories. It's not just basketball. The fact you got Russell Simmons on there, you, you talk about a variety of interest and you have fun. But I, I saw that documentary on Notorious B.I.G. and Tupac and, you know, what you knew or when you knew. or Have you ever talked about that on your podcast about that that night that, at the Vibe Party with Notorious B.I.G.? Uh, no, but... Uh... I saw that it's all over the internet now, so we'll probably so we'll probably talk about it this week. But you know, Big and I were, were close friends, and we were actually on Sunset. Uh, Uncle Jerome and I, you remember Uncle Jerome, right? Uh, no. Yeah, you know Uncle Jerome, the guy that always sits behind the bench. Oh, okay. He's my uncle. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uncle Jerome. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, we were on Sunset, and it was all clogged up, and we rolled out of the tattoo part on Sunset. And, I saw Biggie's guys in front, and I went inside. I said, Biggie, what you do? You know, there were people outside yelling and this and that. So, I, you know, I sneaked past the crowd, went inside. I was like, Biggie, what you doing, man? He's like, man, I'm going to the party. I was like, man, you need to you, know, you need to be careful out here. You know, don't forget where you're at. And then I was supposed to go to the party, and everybody knows the rest of the story. But, like, I always wonder, I, I always wonder if, if I was there without... When I would, when I have been able to see the warning signs. But did you feel what like was about to come? But did you feel like something was going to? I mean, their tensions were pretty high that weekend. Yeah, you know, ten, listen, when tensions are high, there's always a high probability something can and will go down. Period. Especially, you know, especially if you're, especially if you're face to face in the middle of that tension. You know, a lot of people could have tensions, you know, across cross country. Like, I could have uh, tension with one of your Danettes, but I'm like, I can't do nothing right, right now because I'm in Atlanta. That's good. But when I come to the same building that your studio is in, yeah. that Danette with the pretty hair, I'm going to mess it up. Wow. I think, I don't know if I have I it. I all through his hair gel and mess it up. Oh, Seton. Seton. Yes. Yeah, Seton Seton yep. wants a piece of you. You want to step up. You can do that. Yeah. Could you beat up all four, my my Dan uh, Shaq? Could you beat up all four of them at the same time? Yes, easily. What's the most number of guys you've ever taken on? Three. 
<laughs> what happened? What happened? Was that not? I can't tell you. Dude, Dan, the what? Of Come on! Not up on Come on! Stuff. This is the kind of stuff. Oh. Limitations not on that stuff. They might be a fan of your show. Like, oh yeah, he did hit me. <laughs> Lawsuit. Lawsuit. I forgot about it. He said it. Were you a good fighter? Yes. Like boxer? Yes. How would you have done against Tyson? I probably would have lost. Which Tyson? <laughs> Mike Tyson. <laughs> Not, what, Tyson Chandler or somebody? No, no, but I'm saying, remember, remember Tyson before? Oh, before the early he, or he the lost. late? Oh. Yeah, the early Tyson. Um, how about okay, I? I wouldn't have. Yeah, Kid I Dynamite. Have, I, 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 I probably wouldn't have fought the early Tyson, but after he lost once or twice, I probably would have, you know, stepped in there. So, so when he lost to uh, Buster Douglas, after that, you think you could have taken Tyson? Well, not uh, you know taking him. I would have competed. Oh. I don't want to. I, I, I don't want to say I'm negative. You know, I would have. I would have stepped in the ring and competed. I'm sure Mike would have appreciated me competing. But you know, I'm not one of those guys. I can do this. I can do that. However, I did fight De La Hoya and Shane Mosley. At the same time, I fought him. No, I, I, I fought. I fought him in a real match. Would you have one of your Danettes look up me versus Shane Mosley? That was a real fight. So, uh, McLovin, look up uh, Shaq versus Sugar Shane Mosley. Could you have done MMA? I think I could have. I think I could have. Did you see the uh, Did you see the Shamrock got out five thousand fight? Yeah, yeah. How old is was, Ken uh, Shamrock? He's about sixty, isn't he? Yeah, that was uh, yeah. no, no. He's uh, fifty two, I think. Wait, you got on your knees at one point with Sugar Shane Mosley. I know, yeah. Just to let him know that you know, I don't <laughs> want to hear that. I don't want to hear that you're bigger than me and all that. I got on his knees and went toe to toe. I like it. I like it. Uh, that, have you seen enough of Ben Simmons at LSU, your alma mater, where you're ready to go all in on him? I've seen him, I've seen him but he's not there yet. He's almost there. A great all-around player, but probably needs one or two more years to solidify his, his position because uh, right now uh, I know he's playing all five positions at LSU, but when you get to the next level, what position are you going to play? You can't play the one or the two because you really don't shoot. Can you play the three? Depends on which team drafts you or the four. Definitely can't play the five, but you know he he has to uh, develop a killer stroke. Who he do you... can shoot it and will shoot it, but I want to see him get that killer stroke. Who do you compare him to? Well, LeBron right now. Yeah, I can't do that. LeBron, I can't do that. Well, no, no, I don't mean I don't mean stature. I mean unselfishness. Hmm. Getting people involved, big bonded, rebounding, can score around the paint. I don't mean like in stature. That's what I mean when I say compare him to LeBron. He's not that great yet, but close. The uh, big podcast with Shaq on podcastone.com. Russell Simmons joined Shaq this week. DeAndre Jordan from the Clippers next week. And it says tons of laughs with Shaq-related nonsense. That's right. And shout out to Rob Jenner and John Kincaid. My co-hosts, they are hilarious. And they love you, too, by the way, Dan. Thank you, Shaq. It was fun being on, and uh, All con- right. continue to mix it up. All right, brother. Love you. Thank you, Shaq. That's uh, Shaquille right. O'Neal. Shut the hell up.